Hey guys, my name is Ismail. So let's look at some perfect glass settings uh, for Evie. Here's the glass we're going to make. And uh, yeah, we can start from scratch. I'm just going to uh, start from scratch like that. Only let me just open up a new render project. And uh, I'm not going to model anything. I'm just going to use my asset library uh, to search for some assets that I've made. Uh, let me get some glass objects so we don't spend time working on the glass. And I'm just going to remove all the material that is there. So you can see how things look. It's just a plain object. And, uh, yeah, since we're focusing on the glass, let me also get a uh, wood material so we don't waste time on that. I get this uh, like that. And uh, now let's start working on the glass. So it's a new material. Uh, we can remove the principal shader. It's not, what, it's not necessary. You can use the glass shader then and connect that to the surface. And you can already see we have something that looks like glass. Now, to make it refractive and uh, have some good reflections, all you have to do is go to the render settings, uh, turn on screen space reflections, and uh, you can see we have already some reflections. Uh, without the sp screen space reflections, you won't get uh, reflections on the uh, the ground. Uh, let me make these more reflective. Uh, just something like that. Now, to make this uh, fifth row, because right now, if I add an object behind, uh, like a cube here, and I uh, just look through this, you don't really see anything. I just have to make sure you select the glass, and uh, before even you work on, before even uh, doing that, you have to go to the uh, screen space uh, refraction settings and turn on refractions. Uh, that will enable refractions, but uh, you won't see uh, the refractions on the materials you have you have not enabled refractions on. Uh, so for example, this material is a glass, uh, but uh, we, don't, we haven't yet enabled refractions. So we need to turn on screen space refractions and uh, that should uh, start giving us some refractions. Uh, another thing you want to do is uh, go to the blend mode and uh, turn on alpha blend uh, so that uh, the glass can be uh, see-through. Now you start to see these uh, kind of artifacts, uh, these sharp angles, sharp lines. Uh, to get rid of them, uh, make sure you turn on, uh, you turn off show back face and uh, that should uh, make the object see through, uh, but without uh, of those artifacts. Uh, but uh, removing the showback face will also get rid of uh, some details uh, that uh, are within glass. So normally, a glass like this, uh, you should be able to see uh, the inside parts like that. So if removing uh, the showback face will also uh, remove the ability to render that. So make sure you have that on. It will bring the artifacts, but uh, now you can see uh those inside details are uh, that we couldn't see previously but still we have those artifacts in uh, to get rid of those just show a uh, ton of back face curling and that should get rid of those artifacts and now you can see uh, that we have that inside uh, glass detail as we want it uh, but now we can uh, start playing with uh, the glass settings uh, here you have uh, the Refraction depth, uh, if you play with that, you can see how uh, the glass, the, the refractions change a bit. So and, uh, you can use something like 0 0.01 and, uh, that uh, will give you <coughs> a, a balance between uh, the refractions and the nice inside details are like that. So play with uh, uh, this around, uh, play with these settings and uh, see what would work uh, for your scene, for your setup. Uh, you can see now we get other uh, refractions and uh, yeah. So I guess that's it for the most part. And uh, uh, the great thing is that uh, this will also work in cycles, but uh, you see from some areas, uh, the glass still has those sharp edges uh, that shouldn't be there. Uh, again, that is a result of the refraction depth. Uh, you need to find a setting uh, that uh, minimizes uh, those artifacts. So let's see, point zero. Yeah, something like that. We don't see that, but we lose some refraction uh, detail. So you need to try and balance things a bit. And you can see uh, that looks a little bit better. So that's the settings you have to worry about when you're working with uh, glass in uh, EV. Just uh, make sure you have a glass material. Uh, then in the render settings, make sure you have screen space reflections and uh, refractions turned on. And then for the object, you need to make sure you have uh, the screen space 
uh, refractions turned on and uh, screen space uh, refractions. Yeah, if you want to get the asset library, this is my own add-on. Uh, you can find a link in the description. It just helps. It's uh, the alternative to the asset browser uh, because uh, I like it because it takes up less space than the asset browser and uh, it also supports a collection, so it currently uh, the asset browser doesn't. Uh, if you want to get it, helps out the channel. Uh, so thank you.